I think my past experience helps a lot in the role as mayor in many different ways. The law school training helps me identify options and possibilities. And I think that as mayor, it's important to know the range of potential for the city, the range of challenges that might arise, but also the range of opportunities. My prior experience in the city also brought me into contact with so many people in the community. So my network is, is very broad and very, very deep. And I think I take both those things into being mayor. I think the most important thing about urban branding is to be very true to who your city is. I think that, that cities that try to brand themselves or make themselves into something different than what they are have great difficulties. But cities like Austin that genuinely promote what it is that is special about the culture in that city uh, or the environment in that city market in a very true sense. The city of Austin is a very creative, entrepreneurial, innovative city. So we promote that because that's who we are culturally. We're a city that is very concerned about and very aligned with our environment and the beauty of our city, its hill country and its rivers, our, our fresh water, clear springs, and then the people. Uh, Austin is a very friendly and welcoming city because of the people. And the people that choose to, to live in Austin are people that have self-selected to be part of that kind of environment. Keep Austin Weird reflects that in our city, there's a high tolerance for taking risks. But people that, that came up with a creative idea and then tried to make it happen and it doesn't work or not punish, they're encouraged to, to keep innovating and be creative. And the civic folk heroes in Austin are the people that, that do just that, that have an idea and iterate around it and work around it until it's successful. People feel very free and, and ready to take risks to try new ideas and new innovations. Uh, and that's very important for a city that wants genuinely to, to be a creative place. There are more startups per capita in Austin than any other city because it's a city where people are encouraged to take innovations. They're encouraged to think differently. They're encouraged to, to be different. So in Austin, you'll find all kinds of people, all kinds of ideas, and we are very welcoming to that. And some people look at Austin and say, that's pretty weird. And we say we want to keep Austin weird. I think we're, we're, we're listed that way uh, because of our culture and our climate, uh, our attitude, the, the feeling in the city that attracts young people. So the big, large tech companies want to be in Austin because the people that they want to hire want to live in Austin because of its quality of life, because it's, it's laid back, because it's creative and, and innovative and, and, and entrepreneurial. It also has the University of Texas, which is one of the largest public uh, institutions of higher education in the United States. So there are many students, there's a very trained workforce. It's the state capital of Texas. So it's a dynamic place with, with people from all over Texas bringing in new ideas and new approaches. But mostly, I think, we're a good place for technology because innovation and trying new ideas and being creative is something that is part and parcel of our culture. We're also known in the United States as the live music capital. There are more venues playing live music per capita in Austin every night than any other city in the United States. 
And I think that feeling of a creative, innovative city that attracts young people who want to live in that environment is also a place that is prime for innovation and new technology. I think that the, the most important thing the city government can do to be part of that, that culture of creativity and innovation is to provide uh, a field that can be easily tilled for new ideas and new creativity. So we're encouraging and supportive of different people from different places uh, becoming part of our community. We encourage people to try new ideas uh, even if they might not succeed the first time. And I think that we try to have a quality of life in our city with parks and, 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 and music and art and festivals that make for a very high quality of life so that people want to live in our city. And I think they come because of the, the, the environmental beauty of the city of Austin. I think people come because they feel very welcome in a city that is welcoming of people that come and, and, and arrive. I think that uh, it is the, the, the brand of the city uh, that also contributes to people wanting to come and visit. You can find great art and great music uh, and it's a laid-back place. It's fun to visit. I think visitors blend in to Austin almost immediately because ours is a city where we encourage people to be different. So it's not a very homogeneous city. It's not a city where, where people are, are all the same. Austin is a celebration of diversity and differences. So someone that comes for the weekend who might be different than, than many other people in Austin, feels very much at home and very welcome. There is no question but that new innovation and disruptive technologies are creating challenges for local governments. Our cities were not planned with all of the new technologies in mind. So a really good example of that is what's happening right now with scooters in Austin. A little over a year ago, there were no scooters on our streets, the, the rideshare scooters. But our streets are not really equipped for scooters. So there's a conflict with automobiles. So what we have to do is retrofit our right-of-way in order to be able to accom accommodate uh, multiple means of mobility and transportation. But that doesn't happen overnight. So it becomes a challenge for a city keeping up with the technologies. I think it's really important for cities to recognize that the regulatory structures that worked 15 years ago and 25 years ago may not work in today's uh, disruptive and innovative and changing world and that cities need to innovate with their regulatory structure just as rapidly as the new technologies are innovating. And we're doing it in an iterative way. Automated vehicles being tested on our streets. Austin is a city that has put a real emphasis on city, on, on community and neighborhood participation and we have some of the most active uh, neighborhoods and communities in our political uh, life. It's one of the values that we have in a, in a city. We find that some of the best ideas that our city has are ideas that are tested and piloted in one neighborhood and we can see how it works and what's successful and what's not. So we can take those ideas and then bring them to the entire city. I believe in local control. I believe that the government that is, that is, that is closest to the people will best be able to, to represent what people want. Uh, so I think that that kind of local 
uh, in suggestion for ideas that then can be considered by the larger city government or the state government or the national government is really important as incubators of, of innovation and new ideas. We find <coughs> that we are, that the city of Austin is very lucky, very blessed to be able to be a city that attracts talent because of our environment, because of our culture, uh, because of the music, because of the good food, because of the people that, that live there. Our challenge now is that as more and more people are moving to the city, it's becoming more and more expensive for people to live there. It's becoming more and more expensive for people to live there. Housing is becoming increasingly more expensive. So the challenge we have is making our city one that is affordable for all the new talent that is coming. So a lot of the activity in the city of Austin right now is about trying to make housing more affordable, increasing the supply of housing, increasing the type of housing, uh, increasing the density of housing, increasing the, the opportunities for, for smaller kinds of, of housing, increasing the density so that we have housing in, in, in commercial areas uh, in addition to what had formerly been just residential or just commercial areas. Uh, for us, the challenge right now is maintaining affordability. Uh, we're changing our land development code uh, so as to, to create a, a different housing structure and building structure in our city. We're also subsidizing housing uh, for people that, that, that can't afford it and don't have that access or opportunity. And we do that to preserve diversity as well as new ideas and, and new people. Uh, there are more and more people that are moving to those cities that are driving up the price for everyone else. And you end up with part of your city that can enjoy all the opportunities uh, that exist in that city and they can maximize their potential. But you also have people that live in that city, have lived in that city for a long time, that are not able to access the same kinds of opportunities. Some cities have now grown past the place where the only people that really can live in the city are the people that uh, have the financial uh, well-being to be able to engage at that level. But in doing that, those cities have lost a measure of, of diversity and, and character and, and richness. They become a city that, that no longer creates art, but just consumes art. One of our main challenges is preserving the diversity that exists, the opportunity for everyone to be able to live in our city, from the artists that are making the least amount of money to the, the, the richest owner of the new high-tech corporate interest. Because the, the, the broad spectrum is necessary for a city to truly flourish as a, as a city that, that creates and, and lives in art. I think Austin has a very strong environment for companies that want to do business in our city. I think the most important thing we can do is have a city with a high quality of life so that we have a very skilled and, and available workforce. It's good that we have the University of Texas. It's good that we're attracting young people. It's good that we're attracting a high caliber and talent of creative innovators in our city. I think if we do that, then we are accomplishing one of the most important things that businesses would want in coming to our city because we have the workforce that they can enjoy uh, in, in, in operating their, their, their business. I think it's also important that a city be a very welcoming city, uh, a city that uh, celebrates and appreciates uh, immigrants uh, and, and, and new ideas and new peoples and new cultures coming into to, to cities. I'm very proud that uh, Austin, Texas has a, has a growing immigrant population. 
The Asian American community in Austin, for example, is our fastest growing population segment. It's doubling in population every 10 to 12 years. And that happens because people who are from different places find that uh, they are welcome and appreciated and respected and, and celebrated in Austin. One of the highest cultural values in the city of Austin is appreciation and respect uh, and preservation of, of our environment. It's one of the reasons why Austin was one of the first cities in the United States to really invest in renewable energy uh, generation. Uh, it, it's, it's cultural, it's how we see ourselves. We find that, that trying to be at the cutting edge among United States cities with respect to the environment is not something that hurts our economy, that hurts our city, it's actually something that helps it. Austin is the fastest growing met large metropolitan area in the United States, both in terms of people and in uh, uh, GDP. And uh, that's been true for each of the last eight years. One of the reasons that that happens is because we put such a, an importance on environmental protection. So a company would not really come to Austin that had as its business model doing something that hurt the environment because it would be out of place in our city. So the companies that come to Austin, the people that come to Austin, have already bought into and want to be in a city that prioritizes environmental protections. Uh, that means that there are some industries that we don't have in, in Austin, but that's okay. <laughs>